Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from PowerSonic and Apprentice One to One. Today we're looking at an ICS hybrid inverter and 5.2 kilowatt hour battery storage system. I'm going to run through the installation. We've also got 12 solar panels going on two roof aspects to cover in this video as well. And we'll have a look at some of the mounting of those panels up on the roof space and see how all of this comes together. Let's get straight to site and get started. So you can see up on the roof, we have hooks in place and these were installed by the roofing contractors. This is a new extension around an existing house, although the house has been fully remodeled and virtually rebuilt. You can see Matthew here is sorting out the Vandervolt rails. He's just putting in the joining strips and extending these on the deck so they are the appropriate length. You can see we've got our PV strings popped out there and again the roofers have popped the oval tube under the tiles for us. These are a very thin bed tile but they have ground the back out and they were happy with that. They seem fairly solid and robust in fairness and I'm not anticipating an issue. You can see Matty up here, he's working along attaching the rail onto the hooks themselves. So this is a case of placing the rail over the top of the hook and then working your way along, ensuring you twist the van der Volk fixing around into the rail and then locking the nut up onto the back. So you've got the rail locked down nice and tight. And as always, we'll run along with the torque driver and make sure we're setting these to the correct torque so we know the mounting system is true and strong. And again, with the hook spacings, we're sticking to the manufacturer guidance on that. These are some panels that we popped up earlier on in this project. So as you can see, the existing house has been rendered already and the scaffold was much higher and we were working on those particular panels with all of the bird protection and such in place. So you can see Matty has got the rails fastened down. Well, I'm saying Matty, I helped him. And also the bird protector is laid loose fastened to the rail here. These are Trina panels and for those of you who've worked with them, they have a particular fixing onto the array. However, the customer wants this mesh as much out of sight as possible. So we've popped it on the rail and we'll trim these to suit the tile shape later on. On the back of the panels, these are the Trina 415s and we've got the Tigo optimizers. So these Trina panels are 415 watts and they pair up quite nicely with the Tigo optimizers. And we're using optimizers because there's a little bit of shading off this gable here. Even the panels up on the main house roof have optimizers fitted as well. You see Matt is just wrestling with the bird guard for down the side of the panels and we can clip those on out of the way as much as possible, but it is what it is when there's no rail to fasten them onto. You can see there we've got our PV cable drop down off the top row. So the string on these runs along the top row, basically drops down, runs back across, and we pick up the in and out from those PV cables poking out of the roof. These suction cups are absolutely brilliant. If you are getting into the solar game, you're going to need the suction cups. Those were well worth the investment. You can see the Tigo optimizer here is rated for a maximum string voltage of 1,500 volts DC and an individual panel voltage of 80 volts. And that matches up nicely with the Trina solar panel here, which has 40-ish volts on its output. Inside, we've gone for the Proteus switchgear consumer unit, and this is the EPS board. The final circuits on this were wired by the electrical contractors looking after the main install. We've just looked after the solar system at large rather than the rest of the electrical work and we've tested those appropriately to connect in. And this is the ICS 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter and that's quite happy to power those EPS circuits both in grid connected mode and also when the power is lost. You see we've got our meter on there, we've gone for some surge protection devices, DC SPDs, and the 5.2 kilowatt hour battery module, which has fire suppression built in. We've also got the manufacturer stipulated DC isolator between the battery storage and the inverter, and the Wi-Fi module is living in there with it, so it's nicely out of sight. And these cables took up behind the inverter for a nice, neat solution. So this is a step back view of the roof array on the main house, and the customer didn't want landscape and portrait panels mixed because they didn't like the look. So we've gone for just portrait panels up on the top there for the two in each space between those Dharma windows to match in with the angle of the panels on the extension roof. And just to say, we do have 400 mil spacing off the ridge. I will show you a better angle of that to prove it because it was difficult to get up high enough to show you off the scaffold platform. And this again is the Van der Volk fixing system with the clamps to hold this array down. End caps in place. And as you can see, we've trimmed the bird guard to suit the roof shape. 
Over on the array itself, you can see from this angle some of the shading we was talking about off the gearbox, which is why those optimizers are so important. So they're going to help get the best production off this array based on the sun's movement over the back aspect of this house. And there is also some shading from multiple trees that are in place. You can see we've got a bit of space up the side of the gable there. It is tight. We was trying to maximize the generating capacity of the roof spaces. And it's just how it's fallen. We have got 300 mil down the side off the edge of the roof. And we've also got 300 mil on the bottom and 400 mil on the top. So I'm happy enough with that. And you can see again the mid clamps holding those panels down. And I think they look pretty nice. We'll step back out off the scaffold again and take a better look at it. But I'm quite happy with that. And you can see there again the shading. The sun's come out a bit brighter. And I think that's going to be a big win with the optimizers through the course of a year's generation. So these are the panels from the ground at the other side. And it gives you a better view of the space up the side of the array. You can see there is space in there on the tiles. And if I jump down the side, you can see again off the ridge. There is that 400 mil space I was talking about. I'll jump back a little bit further just to prove that point if anybody was doubting me. So I hope you found that video entertaining and useful covering the ICS hybrid inverter and battery storage system. Some of the unique features around the battery are really interesting from a consumer's point of view. Sometimes in homes it's really difficult to position the inverters and batteries in locations that don't present a fire risk in terms of something reaching the battery or something that originates from it. And in those circumstances, you want to know the products you're using have elements of fire control built in. And the ICS ticks that box. There is a great video they've shared where they deliberately set fire to their battery and it extinguished itself. It has built in fire suppression modules, which is fantastic. This one was the five kilowatt hybrid as we discussed. So it will input an output of five kilowatts. The EPS is almost an instantaneous switch over when the grid is lost. And it does also run during times of grid connection. I've had installers ask me about this before. What about the EPS circuits during a grid connection and they've got no usable power? That's not how these work. They do output power all of the time. It's just when the grid drops away, that emergency power supply swings over and they remain energized until the battery is empty. So I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions in and around this, please do drop them in below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It makes a massive difference to its growth and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and we will see you on the next one.